Welcome back to TheMetalFinisher.com in our Sandblasting 101 series. Today we are going to talk about surface roughness or smoothness, however you want to word it. Oh! 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 And firing off your fire crackies. However you want to word it. Oh! Oh! All right, so we're back like nothing happened there. We're, today we're gonna talk about surface roughness, as I said, or uh, as we said, the thumbnail is the smoothness of your surface. Before we get this video started, head down to the lab to do some testing. Please subscribe to our channel. If you'd like any uh, process or product reviews featured on this channel, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. You can also find us on Facebook. We're at the Mobile Blaster. All right, guys, so again, today we're talking about the surface roughness. And the reason I wanted to do this Sandblast 101 series, uh, episode three, by the way, is because I watched a video the other day where I was presented with two statements. The guy said, our process offers the smoothest finish in the world. No other process can compare. And then he said, this process does not remove material. Uh -huh. That's so funny. Last time I heard that, I laughed so hard I fell off my dinosaur. RAs measure the average distance or height between the peaks and the valley on the mean line. The smoother the finish, the smaller the RA number will be. If your process isn't attacking those peaks or removing material, you cannot significantly impact the RA or make it smoother. So today we're going to run two different types of tests uh, between three different machines. The first one we took apart and we have uh, duplicates of it, actually three of them, and we measured the RA up front and it had a, a really good low RA of six. Now we want to take it and put it inside a dry blast process with bead. We want to put it in a wet blast process with also glass bead. And then we wanted to run it in the vibratory tumbler. Now I have no expectations of the RAs going down from where they were. I actually expect them to go way up. I just want to see what the difference is going to be between the dry blast, wet blast, and a vibratory tumble. And the second test we did today was we took a piece of cold rolled steel, a very thin piece. Um, I went ahead and masked it off down the middle, wrote dry at the top of one side, wet at the top of the other. Then we went in and took four readings from each side uh, with the profilometer. And you'll see up here, we got the before readings for both sides. Then we headed out to the lab and we blasted the one side dry, blew it off afterwards, came back and got readings before we went out to the wet blast. And we did an average of those as well and you'll see the range at the end of the video. Then we went back out into the lab, got into the wet blaster, did the same. Uh, only thing after that is we air it off and we had to dry it off really good. Brought it back and got a range of readings on the RA scale there. All right guys, so we're heading out to the lab right now. Stick around, at the end you'll see the results and some before and after pictures and also some close-ups of each finish. Thanks for joining us again today at TheMetalFinisher.com. Stay tuned because we have plenty more on our Sandblast 101 series. Uh, today we actually plan to head out and blast with the Empire Dry Pod, showing off the XL and the fan nozzle, uh, but the weather didn't hold up too well for us, so we were stuck inside and blasting in the lab. As always, feel free to leave a comment below with any product or process reviews you'd like us to tackle. Also, sub subscribe to our YouTube channel, and then follow us over at Facebook at The Mobile Blaster. Thanks for joining us. Get out there and blast.